Welcome back. In the last video lecture, we looked at creating this Hello World program in C++ using Dev C++ IDE. And at the end of that, we had saved it using the file name hello.cpp, and we had just completed compiling it. And remember, compiling it takes our programming code here and it translates it into machine language that the, pro the computer can actually use. So it converts it into the ones and the zeros, the binary that uh, the computer needs. So now what we need to do is to run our C++ program. And a couple of ways that we can do that. Um, up on the menu we have the execute option and under that we have run. So we can go to execute and click run. There's also the keyboard shortcut of control F10. Keyboard shortcuts are good for things that you are going to do a lot. So uh, when you're testing your programs, you will be compiling them and then running them. So it's nice to remember those shortcuts. Also, there is an icon here in front of run. And it's the same icon that's on the menu over here on the toolbar. So we'd be able to also click that button in order to run our program. So I'm going to click on it and it runs our program. Remember when it runs the program it takes that program and it loads it into main memory which is RAM memory. Your program has to be in RAM memory in order to run. So we have our text hello world. It opens up a console window or a command window so it's also the old DOS window that we used to use uh, before Windows. But you can see that the text that we had inside our text string here, inside the double quotes, hello world, exclamation point, is what actually printed to the screen. So when we compiled our hello.cpp program, it created a file called hello.exe and it by default saved it in the same folder location as the hello.cpp. So I'm going to close this console window and I'm going to bring in the folder that had my original C++ file. And you can see here, this is my hello cpp, so my original source file, and by virtue of just using the compile option, it created the hello.exe program. And this is what is invoked or run when we click this run button um, or go to execute and run. So if you go to your folder that has your files in it and you double click on your exe file, you'll see that we get the same console window that pops open. So basically the run buttons up here or options are shortcuts so that you don't have to go out and find your file and then double click on it in order to open up and test it in the console window. Okay, so that's it for now. Some uh, later videos we will look at uh, what all of these, each of these lines mean and what part they play in the entire program and why some of them are required. And we'll also look at uh, doing some debugging, fixing some problems that you might run into while you're starting to learn how to write your programs. So bye for now.